Hello, my name is George Collar and I'm with the Statistical Design Institute. In this tutorial, we'd like to give you a demonstration of the Apogee toolset. Uh, specifically in this demonstration, we'll be looking at the design analysis capabilities using sensitivity analysis and Monte Carlo analysis. For this example, we're going to be examining the design for a cylinder that is, has been or will be manufactured as a component of a fluid reservoir. So in this um, uh, design, we have a, a cylinder with a defined height, outside diameter, wall thickness, and material density. And our objective is to determine how well this design, based on the chosen dimensions and tolerances, uh, how well it will meet our performance specifications for inside volume and, out and cylinder mass for which it was uh, designed to support these requirements. So we have a inside volume requirement of 3,150 plus or minus 50 cubic centimeters and a uh, cylinder mass of 700 plus or minus 700 grams. We have uh, determine the uh, proper calculations from the, for the design for the inside volume and the cylinder mass using simple geometry. And what we'll be considering in this analysis is how well we can reproduce each one of the uh, design parameters, height, outside diameter, wall thickness, and material density uh, based on uh, determined process capabilities. We'll be using a uh, normal distribution assumption for the height and the outside diameter. We'll be using a, a uniform distribution assumption for the uh, wall thickness and for the material density we'll assume that the uh, uncertainty will be based on a triangular distribution. So let's go to our worksheet and we will uh, examine then the uh, analysis and see what we can do to predict performance. Okay, so here we have a, a basic Excel worksheet that was set up to do the uh, nominal calculations uh, for this design. We have specified the, uh, the cylinder height, the uh, outside diameter, the wall thickness, and the material density. And then for the responses, we've computed the uh, inside diameter as a function of those parameters, the inside volume, outside volume, the surface uh, material volume, and then the overall cylinder weight. And uh, also supporting information we put in this spreadsheet will be related to the uh, uh, upper and lower spec limits for the parameters and then also the upper and lower spec limits for the inside volume and the cylinder weight which are the two responses that we will be analyzing. And then we have included information for the uh, standard deviation where it can be determined uh, from the assigned uh, uh, tolerances and distribution properties and, uh, and then also the type of probability density function that will be uh, assumed for each one of these parameters. So uh, in the current spreadsheet, we can predict the nominal performance, which we see here, where we have um, um, in each one of these nominals or within the upper and lower spec limit. So it appears that we do have a compliant design. But let's go look at the uh, uncertainty effects and how that may affect compliance. So let's go uh, open the Apogee tool. I'll go to the uh, Start menu, Programs, SDI Tools, and open Apogee. Uh, Apogee will open as a uh, add-in uh, to Excel and in the add-ins list in Excel 2007 or 2010 you'll find the Apogee toolbar and then also the drop-down menu for the Apogee functions also. But we'll be using primarily the toolbar uh, for this example. Okay, to begin, uh, we'll go select one of our design parameters, and our objective is to define it as a X parameter with uh, some given uncertainty about this nominal condition. So what we will do is identify the, uh, the parameter itself, uh, the name. We will uh, edit the distribution information. And in this case, we are going to uh, estimate the standard deviation from tolerances and for this parameter, we were given that the tolerance will be a 0 0.1, so plus or minus 0 0.1, which will specify as a half width, three sigma tolerances. Click the OK button, and we will now then have the uh, defined normal distribution uh, condition for this parameter. Uh, once that is defined as a, a parameter with an apogee, then a, a blue box will be put around that cell to indicate that it has variation properties assigned to it. 
We'll do the same thing for the outside diameter. And I'll uh, just edit the uh, parameter name here from what we have in the spreadsheet. Edit the distribution. Uh, we'll estimate its variation from tolerances, which for this one we have a, a tolerance half width of 0 0.05. And now we've assigned the mean and the standard deviation normally distributed for this parameter. Now let's go do the uh, the wall thickness. Assign it as a x parameter, and it will edit the distribution. And in this case, we were told that uh, the wall thickness would have an uncertainty that could be characterized with a uniform distribution. So let's go to our list of distributions, and we will select the select the uniform distribution. The um, Minimum for this was it was well the tolerance was 0.25 plus or minus 0.01, so 0.24 would be the minimum, and the maximum will be 0.26. Okay, uh, click the modify button. We see the defined uh, uniform distribution, and we have that one assigned. Okay, and then for the uh, material density, we'll assign this x parameter. Uh, remember this one was uh, triangular distributed, triangular distribution, select triangular. The uh, the minimum for this will be at uh, 2.0, the likely value at 2.7, and the uh, maximum value at 3.0. Okay, and we have our assigned triangular distribution for for this parameter. Now, once we've defined the uh, the x's. Uh, the input parameters, the next step would be to go to define the uh, Y responses that we want to analyze. So the inside volume is one of those responses. We'll select the uh, define response button for the Y. Uh, have this defined as a uh, inside volume parameter. The, uh, the lower spec limit we have specified at 3100 and the upper spec limit will be at uh, 3200 and we will leave the uh, desired PNC blank for this example. We'll consider it in a, another tutorial. So click the OK. And then for the uh, cylinder weight we will define as a uh, parameter also. I'm sorry, as a response. And um, let me go edit the uh, cylinder weight. The uh, lower spec uh, specification for this will be at uh, 625. The upper spec limit will be at uh, 775. We have that defined. And you notice that for the responses, then those defined cells will have a red box put around them. So blue boxes indicate a defined uh, parameter. The red cells, uh, outline cells, indicate a, a defined response. We can go review our uh, definitions using the uh, formulation editor. We can edit any conditions. Uh, to have in this case, I'm going to go edit the uh, the names here for this. Just select the parameter, and I'm going to delete the uh, additional information in the name that I don't need for that. We could also edit any other properties that we desired for this, and I'll do the same for the material density. Okay. And um, it looks like we have everything defined the way we want it for these uh, parameters and responses. So I'll close the formulation editor. And now what we're going to do is go perform our uh, sensitivity analysis. So in the Apogee toolbar, I can go to the sensitivity analysis icon, click this. It will ask me uh, which responses do I want to perform the sensitivity analysis for. And I will select uh, both the inside volume and the cylinder weight. It will identify that it's going to do the sensitive analysis for the inside volume based on the three parameters that will influence it. Complete that. Then we'll go do the sensitive analysis for the cylinder weight using the four parameters that influence cylinder weight. And we've completed this analysis. So um, what we see in this uh, spreadsheet, which is added to our workbook, we have a, a worksheet for the uh, basic equations, a uh, worksheet for the inside volume sensitive analysis, and the same way for the cylinder weight. 
So what we've uh, determined is that the calculated response mean is about 710.58 with a standard deviation, a computed standard deviation for the response is 60.2. And then with respect to our upper and lower spec limits, we can see what the probability of noncompliance will be which is a probability that you will be outside the uh, respective spec limits. In this case, we see that we'll have a probability of noncompliance of approximately 22%. Uh, other information that's provided is the, uh, the contribution of variance for each one of the parameters and the contribution of mean shift for the uh, computed mean response. Okay. Now, uh, examining the uh, similar results for the inside volume, uh, we see where its response mean, response standard deviation calculate, computed results are, and that for this response, the uh, probability of noncompliance is about 8.1%, primarily all attributed to the lower spec limit. And then also the uh, corresponding contribution of variance and mean shift calculations for this also. Okay, So uh, basically we've determined that we have a pretty much a marginal design at this point. So about 8% of our product will fail uh, due to the inside volume results. About 22% uh, of our products will fail due to the uh, violation of the cylinder weight uh, specification that we've identified. Okay, So um, from this analysis, we can extend this and we can go perform a, a Monte Carlo analysis using the same setup. So for Monte Carlo analysis, we need to specify the, uh, the number of trials that we would desire. And we can go to the Options button within Apogee. Uh, various options we can set up, uh, one being Monte Carlo analysis, where we can uh, specify the, uh, the number of trials, or we can uh, estimate the number of trials using a uh, 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 defined uh, confidence interval, doing a, a confidence interval in proportion, and if you have a, a predicted PNC and an error in that, you could specify it and uh, use it to compute the, uh, the number of uh, trials for this simulation. In uh, this case, I'll go with the uh, just the number of trials are in here. I'll tell you what, I'll change this to uh, just 2,000. We'll run 2,000 trials on the, for this design. Okay. And then to run the Monte Carlo analysis, I'll click the, uh, uh, the dice button here to go roll the dice and select our random values and uh, run this simulation. So we're selecting uh, values from the assigned distributions of uh, 2,000 trials, computing results for each one of them, and then we will get the results. So I'll click yes for the results workbook. You can also save all the parameter and response data if you desire to do so. I'll let you click yes for that. This will be saved in a worksheet. And now we can examine in this workbook the uh, results from the Monte Carlo simulation for the inside volume um, uh, response we're looking at. Uh, so we can see the, uh, the histogram of results from the Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, the blue um, results are for those that results that were compliant with their upper and lower spec limits. Uh, the red indications are for results that were non-compliant with their spec limits. So the uh, spec limits we defined is 3100 to 3200. We calculate the response mean from the 2000 uh, results that we computed, the response standard deviation, the uh, skewness, and the kurtosis for this distribution. And then we can compute uh, from the number of trials and the number of events that uh, violated our upper and lower spec limits. Then we can compute the uh, probability of noncompliance, which in this case for inside volume is about 8.3%. And then we're also given what the 95% confidence interval would be for this uh, uh, predicted PNC. In this workbook, we are also provided with the uh, cylinder weight uh, histogram of results. Uh, we see similar results. And in this case, we get about a 24% probability of noncompliance for a cylinder weight. So basically, we've uh, confirmed the results we have with sensitivity analysis. We can see now what the, uh, the true distributions would be for the uncertainty of each one of these as uh, influenced by the uncertainty of our parameters uh, with their assigned distribution properties. Okay. So uh, in this simulation, then we've uh, uh, looked at both the um, uh, analytical result using sensitivity analysis, using a um, uh, 
empirical result using Monte Carlo analysis and we've determined that we do have pretty much a, a, mar no, nominal, a marginal design and may want to consider some redesign or some retolerancing in order to get a, a more compliant product with respect to our design specifications. So in this result we have uh, demonstrated then that uh, this design may be suspect and before we go produce, uh, produce this and start manufacturing, we might want to go examine our assignment of tolerances or the assignment of specifications, either one. So uh, this concludes this demonstration of the uh, Apogee tool, primarily the sensitivity analysis and the Monte Carlo functions. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or comments about this tutorial, uh, please contact me. I've provided my email address and my uh, telephone number. If you would like to uh, download the SDI tools and uh, give these a trial on some of your problems with the example we presented here, you can go to uh, stat-design.com, uh, download the installer, install it, and for your initial installation you'll be given a free seven-day trial. And If you'd like to extend that into a, a, a perpetual license or a term license, then please contact us and we'll uh, try to support you. So thank you very much. I hope you found this tutorial to be uh, beneficial and I look forward to hearing from you with your uh, comments and questions. Thank you.